and welcome to Granddad's Reviews. Today I want to have a look at using program mode on the Fuji X-T3 or other Fuji X cameras. So how do you get to program mode on the Fuji X-T3 and other Fuji cameras? Pretty simply really, but there's a few settings we ought to look at. First off, we need to set the lens to A if it's got a switch, or A if it's got the on the aperture ring. But if you are a lens without a switch or aperture ring, uh, you will use the front control dial to get to turn the front control dial until the uh, f-stop goes white, and then you're into automatic on the aperture. On the shutter, we need to do unlock it and turn it to an A then on the ISO dial again unlock it turn it to A. We also want to have a look at the other auto settings that we can use so if we go into the menu we've got white balance which we can set to auto we've also got dynamic range that we can set to auto but we'll come back to that one the same with dynamic range priority we'll leave that alone for the time being just because it does interfere with the actual use of program mode we then go down to ISO settings now the auto settings you've got three presets that you can actually customize um, and in my case auto 1 I've done to 160 to max of 800 and then shutter speed on auto and on 2 I've done 160 to 6400 so we'll pick auto 2 on this one so when we come back out as you can see the camera will pick shutter speed and an ISO that it deems appropriate for the scene what you can do is actually influence that in a couple of ways. First way is with the exposure compensation dial so we can actually go plus on the exposure or minus. And this obviously will influence the final picture but you also if you're not happy with the f-stop or the shutter speed it's actually the camera selected what you can do is do what's program shift and that's applied by using the rear dial so in this case it's picked f2.8 at a 30th but if I want to have a higher shutter speed I can turn that up as long as it's got some ISO left in it so we'll keep going until it stops and I'm at 6400 so it won't go any further or I can go down and the shutter speed will change until it decides that it wants to change the f-stop as well so you have got some control over program by using the program shift so if like there it's saying it will use f7.1 at 1 60th if I want more depth of field and I want f11 it will change the shutter speed down to a 60th it will keep that EV setting that exposure correct so if I want to open the aperture right up and the shutter speed has gone right up so you can actually have some control over that with that program shift but this is where the other actual settings do influence this so if we go back into here and we go to dynamic range if we put that to auto we've now got no program shift it actually stops us doing program shift and the same with dynamic range, dynamic range priority we again lose our program shift you can still do exposure compensation with the top dial but we've got no program shift so just remember that if you want to be able to use program shift you've got to have either of those out of auto 
If you put it into one of its main settings, like here I've put dynamic range priority into strong, you've still got your uh, program shift. And the same as if I go up to dynamic range, if I put it to 400, I've still got my program shift on the back dial. It's only if you put those into auto that you lose that. So using program isn't quite as restrictive as you actually might think because you have got that program shift where you can move the aperture and shutter speed around and you've got exposure compensation on there. So for quick shots and if you're learning, especially if you're learning, I think it's quite useful because you can actually see what the camera's picking when you're doing the program shift. And sometimes I'll leave it in auto if I'm just out about doing quick shots because I can then just program shift it to the aperture or the shutter speed I want. So if I decide I want a really fast shutter speed, then obviously my aperture will open right up. And if I decide, oh, I can probably go with a slower shutter speed and get a more depth of field. So I think program mode is quite handy and give it a go, try it out and just see if it becomes useful for, t for you in your photography. So it's quite useful if you're just doing run and gun, street photography, out with the kids, the family, you haven't got to worry about or, uh, where I've got everything set. You can just do that, flip the program shift to uh, setting you're happy with. So that's my quick look at program mode on the Fuji X-T3 and other Fuji X cameras. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified, hit that bell button. Till next time, see you later.